So today we are running 26 miles and we're going to have a little spice in this one uh, from a six, you know, it's about a six to seven mile stretch from roughly 17 and a half miles uh, on to, you know, 24, 25 miles. They'll be doing a pretty fast fart lick. And this is something we've done many times, but usually we do 26 miles, and from 18 to 20, from miles 18 to 24, we run six miles at marathon effort, and then cool down, and we get 26 on the day. And we've done that many times. But keeping Boston in mind and the specificity of Boston, we wanted to instead of just that steady effort, implement this fartlek where they would have to handle those surges, those quick surges. And yeah, that was the thinking, and um, you know, we'll see if these guys can do it. Wow, what a lovely day! I'm so so excited to spend this time with you guys. <laughs> well, be, that might be nice. To Just jog down. All right, let's find me. Yeah. Jog back here for our cool down. Yeah, that that would be a nice cool. Down. All right, hey guys, All right. have a good one. Okay. Right. Yeah, Jen, whatever you say. <laughs> From the tangible side, you know, I'd like to see those those uh, per mile paces be pretty quick on that far leg so that we know that, hey, it's in our back pocket come Boston to run a, you know, 90 second surge at four. 45 pace or something, uh, if need be, 440 pace, whatever it might be, we can weather that and come back and do it again if that's the type of race we end up uh, being a part of. This is just another box that we're checking. Hey, we're putting this tool in our toolbox, and, and does this one workout mean that we'll be able to handle surges? Not necessarily, but it gives you the mental belief that you can and I think that's important along with the physiology of, of what we've been doing the entire segment. And so on a day like this, it's about executing the entirety of the run uh, in the way that we want it executed so that we can get the most out of the, the workout. So here's how the fartlek will work. Is it's a revised version of the, the Mana fart, like the Steve Monaghetti fart, like that's very famous in Australia. But essentially, we'll do two times 90 seconds, four times 60 seconds, four times 30 seconds. The reason we have different um, lengths uh, for each repeat inside the fart lick is because that's how it is in Boston. Sometimes these surges are very quick, 30 seconds, and you gotta weather that quick, quick storm. Sometimes they're a little longer. People really test you, and you have to weather that storm. Uh, and of course, those surges are gonna be at different paces. So the idea was to take the 90 second um, surges and you do them you know, a little bit faster than marathon effort. 60 second surges, faster still. 30 second surges, really fast. So you're just getting a little taste of everything that you might face in Boston. Yeah, I really liked it. Good. Yeah, it was a good mental exercise because you just kind of weathered each each individual section, and they went by, and then you knew you should do the next. Yeah. Good. What do you have for miles? Two k to go. Two k to go. Four point five right now. Yeah. Yeah, I felt pretty good though. Good. That nine, that second ninety, we were flying up that hill, and and it really felt like we were still in some control. Yeah, I got pretty aggressive on that second set. Yeah. yeah. I mean, our first 90 was like at 252 pace or 253, and our second was like 256 up the hill, yeah. which is like 440, Jeez. four mile pace. I was gonna say, like, we drove by you and I was looking at my speedometer, and it was like 
basically like 14 miles an hour and I was like, I don't know if this is real. You guys are flying. That's nice work. Good job, guys. Do you guys have a good one? Yeah. yeah. As a coach, you can, you can sit down, look at the data, and make a make a pretty educated uh, uh, assumption about where we're at physically, fitness-wise. And, and I definitely think we're as good as we've ever been heading into Boston. Um, you know, Scott Falwell, Scott Smith, they've been in the top ten in Boston before. Um, but I, I think I like where we're at uh, right now compared to where they were before. Uh, again, super different. Uh, each segment is different, but. I just have a feeling that right now we're, we're right where we want to be.